Hi guys, welcome to the Marshall online demo for this, the Marshall SL5, which is a five watt all valve combo uh, designed in conjunction with Rock Legend Slash. And uh, some of you may remember the previous amp we did with him, which was the very popular AFD 100. Consider this kind of a mini sized version of that, more practical for rehearsing and recording and practicing at home, etc. And it has a few more features too, such as a dedicated clean channel and built in reverb. The speaker inside the SL5 combo is a Celestian Vintage 30 speaker as used in all of our vintage cabinets and by Slash himself. What we're going to do is we're going to check out the front panel uh, of this amp and then check out some of the sounds within it. So starting on the far left, firstly you've got two inputs. You've got a high and low sensitivity input section. I'm actually plugged into the top one which is the high sensitivity. Then you've got your um, clean channel, which consists of just volume. Then you've got your channel selection switch, which also has LED indicators, green for clean and red for overdrive. Next up, you've got overdrive, which consists of gain and volume. And then you've got the EQ section itself, treble, middle, bass, followed by the reverb section, which has a selection switch with a red LED and the reverb pot itself, digital reverb in this amp. Then you've got the presence control and on the end there you've got a three-way power switch. When it's in the center position the amp is off. If you knock it up it goes into standby so you won't actually get anything out of the speaker but the valves will be warming up which is very cool. Knock it all the way down and the amp is on. The other cool thing about this amp as you will see a bit later is it also goes from 5 watts to 1 watt via a rear panel switch. So checking out some of the sounds uh, that you get from this I'm going to start on the clean channel just here with the volume on about three, and the EQs are set, uh, as always, on about seven or eight, something like that. You can also hear the reverb in there as well. We'll look at that in a little more detail in just a minute. If I turn the volume up on the, uh, on the clean channel, it starts to get a little bit more punchy and pokey, which is really nice too. And driving the volume of the clean channel all the way up, it starts to break up like a you know traditional Marshall should. You can hear the reverb, as I said, and I've got that set on about three at the moment to give you an idea of the reverb voicing and how much of it there is. If I take it up to about two thirds now. and reverb on full. Okay, so taking the reverb back down to uh, where it was originally, we're gonna move over to the overdrive channel now. Now, uh, the overdrive channel obviously is voiced very much like the AFD 100 was and um, if you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the overdrive channel with the gain pretty minimal. So the gain's only on like one, just over one, something like that. And you get this kind of tone. Now what you can do essentially is you can, uh, if you want to take the treble all the way up and drive the presence up as well, you get that very toppy kind of sound, much like the, the number 34 sound that you got on the AFD 100.
which gives you, yeah, it's a very good idea of, of, uh, of what the overdrive channel can do on little amounts of gain. If I bring the, uh, the presence and the treble back now, what I'm gonna do is take the gain up to about half, and this is when that, that, you know, that kind of tone really starts to kick in. <laughs> Taking the gain up now to about three quarters, which is uh, probably my favorite setting just here. And just to give you a quick blast of full gain. So it's very, very cool. It makes, it makes a brilliant practice amp, recording amp, um, and good, you know, if you get a mic in front of it, you can do any gig in the world with it as well. Uh, and like I say, very, very versatile. A couple of other things. Firstly, the valve power in this thing is an EL34 valve. Uh, the foot switch that comes included with the amp allows you to switch between the clean channel and the overdrive channel and also turn the reverb on and off as well. And one feature we haven't yet looked at which makes it even more versatile is the drop down switch on the rear panel which takes it from five watts to one watt. It's quite simple, all you do is you knock the amp back into standby and then reach to the rear panel, find the switch and then you just switch it over, turn the amp back on and now you'll be hearing the amp in one watt mode. And just to give you an idea of back in full five watts. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Uh, what we're going to do now is have a look at the rear panel. On the rear panel, the Marshall SL5, first up after your mains input, you've got your foot switch input then your speaker outputs for eight or 16 ohm speakers. And then along the rear panel, you have your output switch where you can switch from five watts to one watt. For more information on the SL5, please head to your local Marshall dealer.